Hey. So, as y'all could probably guess uh, or imagine, it's been extremely difficult for me to remain quiet uh, in, 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 in light of all the things that have transpired and all of the, the egregious allegations that's been tossed around about me and my wife. Um, but it's a reason for that. And I don't mind sharing it. You see, if a person does not have any right to, to criminally or civilly have you in court, they have no right. The best thing they could do, it gets you for a defamation, a defamation suit, drag you in court, make you pay their legal bills, to get you in court. Now, I mean, at this point, man, this is, the, this is the point where that don't even matter to me no more, okay? But that's the motive, that's the strategy, that's the intention. Say a whole bunch of false stuff about you um, that get people to believe and make them come out and say, they're a liar, they're a liar, they're a liar. And then they can say, see, they call me a liar. That's defamation. Then they drag, drag you in court, get you under oath and all that. Because unfortunately right now, it doesn't matter as much what they can prove you did. It matters what you could prove you didn't. You know what I mean? And that's just an unfortunate place that our society had made it to. But I want to be clear about one thing. Women who have been victimized deserve to be heard. Women, black women in particular, should be supported, protected, defended, uh, and uplifted. However, evil has no gender. People with evil intentions have no gender. A threat comes in all shapes and sizes. I would never, I mean, I would never treat a woman the same way I would treat a threat. All right? So I think that that has to be distinguished. First and foremost, I want to say my wife, my wife is a beautiful person with an amazing spirit and a kind heart. She's a devoted mother and she has a humble soul. She don't deserve it. She don't deserve it. Uh, now, what we're not going to do is open up the door to my bedroom, as you shouldn't have to either. Open up the door to my bedroom for everybody to come in, chime in, and make their opinions about what we do and don't do or should or shouldn't do. But I will say this. Whatever we ever have done has been done with consensual adults who enter what we into and like what we like. If we want something, we know exactly where to go to get it. We ain't never forced nobody. We ain't never drugged nobody against their will. We ain't never held nobody against their will. We ain't never made nobody do anything. We ain't never trafficked anything. Well, sexually traffic anything. Um, I ain't never raped nobody. Never raped nobody. Also, I'm gonna tell you what's uh, what's factual. I'm tell you what's factual. There have been fake stories put up that blog sites uh, uh, anonymously sent to this person. Blog sites anonymously sent. Fake stories to this person, and the person posted it as though it was a victim, that they were sure that it was a victim and it has been victimized. And what does what this does is it 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 dismantles the mechanism that women have created for themselves. You can't weaponize something un like un like with with with, with baseless claims. These are th these are not stories of actual events. They're not. And I have proof of that. And that's why I said it. I have proof of that. I have proof of people who have gone on live with this person. And they later said, man, I just wanted some clout. That's why I was, I can't believe they actually posted that shit. I just wanted some clout. So this is what we're dealing with, man. This is what we're dealing with. And also, I pose you a question. How you going to be a victim and an attacker at the same time? How are you being victimized if you are violently attacking someone? Women who have been victimized deserve to be heard. They deserve to feel comfortable.